people ask me all the time, what, what do you feed to your plants? And I give them Fiji natural artesian water. On today's episode, we're going to talk about plants. I like to look at this one and, and to imagine I am walking through the bamboo forest and all, all around me are panda bears. And the panda bears say to me, we're happy that you're here, Mark, and we want to eat bamboo with you. Come to our bamboo house and we'll go into the bamboo house and we'll boil bamboo and we'll eat several stalks of bamboo. Then we will lie on on leaves made of the bamboo and look up into the night sky and count all of the stars and tell stories about our panda bear families and how we are happy and we give each other lots of hugs and sing songs and meditate and go to sleep feeling totally relaxed and at ease with the world. Plants are one of my favorite relaxing things to surround myself with whenever I need to get to sleep. To my left is a giant palm tree and a baby bamboo plant that I like to rub my hands and face in because it, it has a good texture. And another plant from the grocery store, which was on sale for $1.99. I, in my spare time, like to review plants on YouTube and to recommend plants for you based on the level of complicatedness as well as the beauty of the plants and how good they are for helping you get to sleep. So I, I want to review the plants now, so let's, let's do that. This plant is a jade plant. It is it has nice green leaves and its stem slash trunk and is budding a lot at the top, which means that I have done a good job watering it and keeping it healthy. When, when you, people ask me all the time, what, what do you feed to your plants? And I give them Fiji, natural artesian water because plants need to have water without chlorine and added bad chemicals which is what Fiji natural artesian spring water provides. So I, I use that water on all of my plants where I pour it all over them and spray them with the water and Let's talk about how, how to water plants now. Watering plants is not as easy as you might imagine. There are many ways to go wrong with watering your plants, which I'll tell you about now. The issue with watering plants is many people water plants too much. You, most plants do not need to be watered every day or even, even every week. My, my plants, I only water about once a month. Here is my wild birds of paradise palm tree, which I really love 
and I'm gonna tell you how to water it now. The wild berm birds of the palm tree are, they like to have lots of water all at once. I recommend to, to water the wild birds of paradise palm tree once a month. The best way <clears throat> to water the, the palm tree is to dump a bu bunch of water all, all around it and to have it in a container where it has holes in the bottom of the container and can drain easily. If your plant is in a pot with limited holes, drill extra holes into your pot or replant the, the tree in a new pot with extra holes. I recommend putting perlite or even vermiculite or some sort of stones at the bottom of the pot to make sure that the plant can easily drain the excess water because plants don't like to sit in water. Imagine how would you feel if once a day someone poured a gallon of water on you and then you had to sit in it all the time because the water couldn't go anywhere and I think that you would find that pretty gross and probably it would not be very healthy because you're sitting in yucky water and not like in in a nice bath where when you're done you can drain the water and then dry off so think think of the plants like humans it's nice to have a bath but after you're done with the bath, it's nice to not have a bath until the next time you're ready to have a bath. So most, most plants are the same way, including succulents and cacti, which like to have less water and can store it for longer periods of time. I have some soil on my fingers, so I'm going to wipe it off now. Let's, let's review this plant. This is a plant I got at the grocery store for $7. This one advertises on it that it can convert the, the, the the carbon in the air into oxygen so that I can have better air quality in my home. You might want to put plants all, all around you when you sleep to enjoy the benefits of the good air quality unless you have allergies and then I recommend avoiding plants that give you allergies including animals that give you allergies and only see them in moderation while wearing gloves and a mask and and goggles so keep plants in your life that are good for your respiratory system and be sure to avoid ones that are unhealthy for for you when you breathe I like to look at this one and, and to imagine I am walking through the bamboo forest and all, all around me are panda bears and the panda bears say to me, we're happy that you're here Mark and we want to eat bamboo with you. Come to our bamboo house. And we'll go into the bamboo house and we'll boil bamboo and we'll eat several stalks of bamboo. Then we will lie on, on leaves made of the bamboo and look up into the night sky and count all of the stars 
and tell stories about our panda bear families and how we are happy and we give each other lots of hugs and sing songs and meditate and go to sleep feeling totally relaxed and at ease with the world because we are panda bears and we are cuddly and cute and every everyone loves us and the and the bamboo so i recommend picking one of your favorite plants in having a story to tell about it just like that one let's go do an example here is a random plant that i don't know the name of it and what we need to do is to think about how the plant looks relaxing and we need to imagine ourselves being in a habitat where the plant would live and we think about all the animals and, and the baby animals that live around the plant and they're comfy and they're smiling and laughing because they have no worries at all and all they do is nap and sleep and eat and go go to the bathroom and then they do that again and they they feel so sleepy and it's very happy and nice because you you like the baby animals and there are are elephants and zebras and the zebras they they like to eat the plant because the plant has delicious leaves but the plant doesn't mind because it regrows its leaves really quickly and everyone is happy so that's an example of the story you'll want to tell about your plants and so do that now uh, go go look for all of your plants and if you have no plants go buy plants and to put them in your bedroom in areas where you want to feel relaxed and then after you've done that think about a story for each plant that will make you happy and whenever you go to bed you think about the plant and the story about the plant and you th think about buying more plants because because they're they're nice and this this plant i got from home depot home depot has an excellent gardening center and you'll find all kinds of plants that you will enjoy I like to pick tropical plants because tropical plants are most relaxing for me. But some people might want to have plants like a Japanese maple. Or if you are into deserts, you might want to have desert plants like cacti and agave. You can even make the agave into your own nectar, which you can have on pancakes in the morning and you can feel grateful that the plant gave you such delicious nectar and tequila you can make tequila with another plant and you can have all kinds of delicious foods and bees they like to pollinate all of the plants and they make honey where we should do a bee episode where the bees, they go, go to the plants and in different areas where there are different plants, the honey will have a distinct taste like buckwheat or lavender honey or rosemary honey and other plants like daisies and I'm, I'm getting sleepy. Uh, so the bees do all of that in Home, Home Depot, the, the plants, 
the plants that are there if if you don't want japanese maples or desert plants you can find other plants that will suit your needs like maybe you want an american oak tree or or trees indigenous to the midwest or california giant redwoods but you'll have to wait a long time for them to become old and big so go go find plants and plan plan ahead to have a nice nice relaxing area just for you and if you have clutter in in your room that keeps you from getting getting to sleep remove the clutter and put plants in there instead but there are other things that you could use too like stuffed animals or pillows or i i like to do puzzles so if plants aren't your thing this might not be the episode for you but i i think most people will enjoy the plants and you can surround yourself with plants when you take a bath and you can you can put them on your front porch and to to dress them up in different outfits for the holidays so that's that's all i want to say about that So I hope you have a good night and I I um I have I'm all done talking now. So thank you for watching another high quality episode of Falling Asleep with Mark which is not scripted whatsoever and is totally improvised but I speak so slowly and have a robotic voice that it sounds like I am constantly reading from a teleprompter and am not human. I'm not sure if if I if, if I'm human or not, but all all I can say is that the show is not scripted and I say whatever enters my head and sometimes I decide to not say what enters my head because it's too weird. So I'm filtering it out to make it to make it less strange and for you to feel totally relaxed and sleepy. So I hope you are all asleep now and take take photos of your plants and put them on Instagram and put notes in the comments about the plants you think are best for you and recommend plants to others that will help them get to sleep. Okay, bye.